Uh, now we are going to talk about something that I think is really exciting because I love this idea of exploring the ocean. And uh, we're joined here by Drew Prindle. Hello, Drew. How's it going? Doing well, our emerging tech editor here. And uh, this project is so fascinating to me because it's we've talked a lot about space here on, on this show just because SpaceX is always doing things. Yeah. You know, there's always so much going on. Um, but more people have been to space than have been to where these guys are planning to go. So let's, exactly. let's talk about this. Maybe you can give us a rundown of what Five Deeps is. Okay, so Five Deeps is an expedition to the five deepest parts of each of the world's five oceans. Um, so the weird thing about that is, first of all, only three people have ever been to the deepest part of the ocean, Challenger Deep, one of which is James Cameron. Yeah. Um, the guy who did Avatar and Titanic and all that stuff. So, um, but in addition to the fact that we've only three people have been to that one point, we actually don't know with complete certainty what the deepest parts of the other four oceans are. And that's what's crazy, like it's so unexplored. Yeah. You know, I mean, you think about even when, uh, when there was the missing plane, you know, they, they mapped a bunch of the ocean that had never been seen yeah. before. Yeah, just to try and find something. Just to try to find yeah. something. And yeah, and unsuccessfully because it's so big. So yeah, a big part of this mission is going to be mapping the ocean floor so they can first of all figure out where these super deep parts of the ocean are. And then once they figure that out, they're gonna actually go down to the bottom of them and they've got all kinds of scientific equipment, they've got video equipment, they've got, and it's all tacked onto this insane submarine that's gonna get them there and can withstand the pressures of the deep ocean. Yeah, I was reading that, like at the bottom, it's 800 times the pressure at sea level. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that uh, will crush you in a second. Yeah, which is crush you. Um, yeah, that's that's crazy. I, I would, I think about you know how that works, and like the technology behind that, because it is like going to, um, you know, it is like going to space. Yeah, I mean, trying to figure out something for this. Like if one thing goes wrong, you are dead in a second. Yeah, boom. It's like one little Crash. hole in the in the, the hole. It's like that'll fill up in under a second. You would const I would constantly be looking at the walls, like, oh my god, is that? It's like any tick noise that a leak or crack. <laughs> oh yeah. god, man, I can't even. <laughs> I would be so paranoid. I would still do it. I would definitely go in it but I would be paranoid the entire time. So how, um, let, let's walk through the actual process of this. So it's these two guys who decided they wanted to do this. Yeah. How are they building the equipment? Like what equipment are they using? What tech are they using? So the equipment is already pretty much built. Okay. Um, so the submarine is essentially a titanium alloy sphere that okay. has these acrylic lens windows built into the sides and it's all covered up in this thing, this white shell. It's made out of this stuff called syntactic foam which is essentially just a much better material for um, exploring the deep oceans because it can withstand pressure and kind of disperses it over um, a, a wide surface area and it won't really like compact, it won't bend the same way like metal will and it okay. also won't fracture the same way glass will. So it's just a much better material for getting way down deep in, under these huge pressures. Is this a new material? No, it's yeah. actually been around for quite some time. It's okay. just uh, the thing, it was like, you know, I feel like early expeditions just didn't have access to this. So it's yeah, it like we said, of. there were only a couple expeditions to the bottom of the ocean, one of which was in 1960. Like the first one to go to Challenger Deep was 1960. So, wow. And they basically went down in a tin can. And the reason they came up was because they're like, oh crap, there's a crack in the window. Let's get out of here. <laughs> and it took them five hours to get to the bottom and three hours to get back up to the top. Yeah, because you have to go so slow. Yeah, this um, one's going to be a little bit All that faster. pressure. And that was, uh, let's see, I'm looking here, Jacques, Jacques Picard and Don Walsh. And yes. Yeah. James Cameron, exactly. which James Cameron, he, when he came up with that project, because I know it was originally Titanic, but then they kept, he just kept, he just got just, super yeah. hooked on yeah. submarines. But they developed a lot of original um, yeah. tech for that. He did, he did a lot of groundwork for deep ocean exploration, which is kind of crazy that he's just like a filmmaker, right? eccentric billionaire guy, like, yeah, let's. I mean, if you had the money, he'd be like, yeah, sure, let's go to the bottom of the ocean. There are right worse now. things to spend your money on. Absolutely. But, but yeah, so in addition to that really crazy design that is going to allow it to just go down comfortably and it not be like a sketchy mission, uh -huh. it's also, full, like, they had the benefit of learning from those past missions, like, this is what the bottom of the ocean's like, here's what you're gonna need. So it okay. has LED lights, because obviously there's not a lot of light reaching the bottom of the yeah. ocean. It has low light cameras. Um, it has, there, and there's also a bunch of other little vessels that are gonna be accompanying this thing. Oh, that'll um, go down at the same yeah, time? Yeah, and those are for scientific, um, like basically data collection. Gather so they're gonna, they've got pressure sensors, they've got conductivity testers. There's one that's going to take core samples of like the bottom of the ocean so that wow. we can kind of tell what was down there. Yeah. And you know, let's see what else. There's, <clears throat> they also have little wildlife 
catcher grabber thing. Oh, they're gonna like, snag some things. It'll basically just like suck in, um, yeah, like fish or whatever they encounter without hurting it, and then they can bring it back up and keep it pressurized so it doesn't die as. Oh, that's like, great. Yeah. Yeah, keep it probably dark too for it. So this thing is basically just built from the ground up to be like the perfect ocean exploration machine, which is cool because they are gonna be going there. What? Something over like a quarter million miles of yeah, ocean. I believe it was two hundred thirty-six thousand miles. Yeah, and they're going to every single feet. Ocean. Or excuse me, two hundred thirty-six thousand feet, forty thousand nautical miles. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, descending more than. I mean, it's got to hold up over that because that's the other thing that I would worry about is, you know, you're testing this out. If there's a mistake, that's it. Like we said, crushed. Um, and yeah, that's the thing. Like it's been tested a few times, but it hasn't really been used for a prolonged period of time like that. So there's two of them that are doing this. And again, this entire article is up at digitaltrends.com. It's a really great in-depth article asking um, these guys in particular some questions. And Yeah, we actually got an interview with the two guys who are going to be in the sub. Uh, so they be in brains. the sub at the same time? I think so, yeah. Okay. you got to really, really be comfortable with somebody. <laughs> if you're stuffed into a, that, that tiny thing uh, with somebody for that many hours. Um, and so they're going to all five oceans, which again is Atlantic, Arctic, Indian Pacific, Southern Ocean. I think that's what people sometimes forget is that Southern Ocean is its own ocean. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so, they're, so they've got all this. And so what are, what are they expecting to find? You said they're going to be taking some samples. Um, um, I think that's the what thing. What like, they, they, they don't for? really They just know. don't know. Because it's that exploration side of it. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they kind of know they're, that there's going to be like some deep sea life. Yeah. That was one of the things that one of those first expeditions discovered is like, holy crap, there's like fish and crustaceans, which scientists didn't actually believe. There's like, there's no way that life could withstand pressure so high and like no light. And it uh, turns out that there's actually a ton of life on the bottom of the ocean. So they know they're probably going to find some of that. Yeah. Um, they know they're going to be down there for taking core samples. But beyond that, they don't really know what to expect. Well, um, I just thought of a question that I want to drop into the chat while we're talking about this. Uh, so, would you rather ride Elon Musk's ship that's going to go around the moon, the one that he's going to be sending up, I think, in a year or two, or would you rather go to the bottom of the ocean? Which one? If you could do one or the other, around the moon or bottom of the ocean. N way fewer people have been to the bottom of the ocean. There's oh, only, man. I mean, the, even if these two go, that's five people. So you would be one of the, I, the sixth persons. I think I'd still go with around the moon. Around the moon? Just because, like, bottom of the ocean, it's not going to be the most, like, visually crazy experience. <laughs> I feel like the cameras that are on the vessel are going to be able to see stuff better than you can. So yeah. you're just going to be, like, looking at a tiny little porthole going like that. <laughs> well, right. there it is. Yeah, yeah but that's kind of what you're dark. doing, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. But if you're going around the moon, you get to see, like, the Earth. Yeah. As you're, like, going away, you get to see the dark side of the moon. You get to come back. But what if you discover something down there? Like, you're the first person to ever... Like, you think about that. You're that's the first cool. person to ever see that. And then you get to name it after yourself. Yes. Which is what scientists do all the time. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Riffidus Gregus in the bottom of the ocean. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, so I think... Man, it's a hard choice, but if you had to decide, I'm already seeing people. Gene on YouTube said moon. Um, let's see. Keelan says moon. Easy. I don't know. I might, uh, I, think, I think I might go to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah? Yeah, just because I would, then I'd be, you know, the sixth person to the bottom of the it ocean. It also, yeah, it's a much more, it's, an exclusive it's a smaller club. club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, and then I can hold that. Oh, you went to the moon. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think I might go to the bottom of the ocean. I mean, do you have to choose between one? Just you have to both. choose. Right. Well, this is clearly why one of us needs to become an eccentric billionaire so we can do both. <laughs> um, Vicky says, you'll be the first one killed by the thing in the ocean. The thing. <laughs> the thing at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, but see, then they can, you know, write stories about it. I don't know. Um, let's go. <laughs> All right, so, so again, this article's up there at Digital Trends right now. Five deeps talking about this project. Uh, anything else that people should know about this? Uh, like, how are are they going to do, be doing video and yeah, can so, you keep track of it? Um, check out their website, um, which you can find through our article on digital trends. Yep. Link to it. We've got a bunch of awesome pictures on there as well. But yeah, I believe they're going to be capturing a ton of video. This whole expedition is just to get as much data as possible. And a lot of that is visual data. And they're going to be recording the whole thing. I'm sure there's going to be documentaries coming out in the next oh, yeah. years. Um, they've got stuff that they put up on YouTube. This is like a pretty big undertaking, and they know that people want to watch, so they're definitely shooting videos and photos like crazy. Wow. Well, uh, check out that article. It's really, really great, digitaltrends.com, and uh, take a look at Drew's article and everything else that Drew is doing. How can people follow you, Drew? Um, check me out on Twitter. Uh, Gonzo Torpedo is my, <laughs> is my name. I really wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> I, I, I pretty much post everything on there. That's the best place to find me, or just check me out on Digital Trends. Yeah, there it is.